Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Monday morning, August 29th. We are looking at uh, the charts first. I think we need to start here because a lot of things changing dramatically. Um, remember, not too long ago, for the first time all year, we had all time frames up. Look how things are changing. This is the monthly in SPY. Inside month up, which got $19 out of it. Here we are with three months to uh, three days to go in the month, and we're back inside July's range by $13. So epic fail after attempting to get over May's high. Look at the weekly. We are about to have our second weekly gap down. That's emotional trading, friends, and we're going to be testing this trend line from the bottom. The way we failed on the upside trend line, we'll see what happens when we touch that one today. But our second weekly gap in a row. And then on the daily, and by the way, that would be, we were in a, a four-week balance. We are now coming out of balance to the downside on the weekly. So the monthly is basically balance. The weekly is down now. And the daily is certainly down. We had an outside day down on Friday, and we're continuing most likely, again, there's still uh, 90 minutes to go prior to the opening, but most likely with another gap and possibly testing the 50-day moving average. We talk about emotional trading. Uh, just, just this summer alone, from June 9th, look at these two huge gaps to the downside. Then an upside gap. Another upside gap. So that's four total. Upside gap, large one, that's five Downside gap six, downside gap seven, another downside gap eight. We are, we're having eight gaps, some of them with pretty good size over a three-month period. Emotional short-term trading. We finally did, look at that, over 100 million shares on Friday. Barely, but we did it, 103 million. So there's a lot of emotion going on here. We'll see how... Um, Mechanical we are when we test the 4,000 level and the 50-day moving average. Now let's get to the profiles and see what's going on as far as our trading this morning. So right now, the overnight high in SPY is 405.36. The overnight low is 401.03. So we've had a double distribution on the overnight. Same in the ES. 459 uh, is the upside uh, overnight high. 0675 downside. We're at 19 wide at 24 right now. Now let me just show you the other ones real quick, and then we'll go over a game plan. Triple Qs, double distribution, okay, on the overnight. Don't forget the massive trend day we have down in all of these from Friday. Not going to be easy to take all these back, I can assure you. Russell, after being above May's high on Friday, only to go massively trend down, again, they have a double distribution on the overnight to the downside. So what is our game plan? Well, again, we have to put things in context. You have to take a deep breath. Friday was nothing but shorts, but guess what? I didn't start my first short till C period. There's no reason to pull the trigger at 9.30 and one second, right? Is the market a little bit too emotional right now? Possibly. Do I want to short a gap that, again, might be $3, $4? Most likely not. If we open near the 4,000 level and the 50-day moving average, I might actually take along the first time down there to see if we get just a response of buying there the first time. If we open above it and drive down, same thing. I'd probably look for along the first time. Not because the market's good, but just for a response of bounce. Until the market tells us differently, I will be looking for shorts all morning again besides that one play against the 50 and the 4,000 level because we're going to have lower value. We're going to have a gap. The market's telling you it's trying to go down now, just like we were attempting to go up, just like I showed you on that special video yesterday morning. Now, will things change? Possibly. We fill the gap. We start one time framing up. By some chance, we have a trend day up, which I'm not looking for, but those would, thing, would be things that tell you something's changed, and then you can start looking for the long. But as of right now, the only long would be a responsive one against the 50-day moving average and the 4,000 level. Again, in the trading room, you'll be finding out what we're doing the entire trading day. Now, and on that note, I am leaving early today. I have an appointment. I'll be leaving at 2.30, so the afternoon video 
will be a bit later. Good luck trading today, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.